you. Do you love me? What's up, fam? So it's your boy, Black Hippie, coming with a new video for you guys. Two things uh, we're kind of discussed today. One is how I personally pick up my baby boas. Um, I've been seeing people like on online, on Facebook groups, uh, kind of just talking about like how they personally uh, handle their snakes. Uh, a lot of people were kind of talking about how they're afraid. And I totally get it. I understand. I used to also be afraid, believe it or not. Afraid's not the best word, but nervous, you know? Like my hand would tremble. Like I, when I first started kind of collecting snakes, I was using a glove. So I would use a glove to pick them up. And then one day I was just like, you know what? I don't need the glove. And I put the glove down and lo and behold, like I came, I became more confident. Uh, and so it's a great feeling. I feel uh, handling snakes is, it's quite, rewarding and you conquer that fear and then you begin to feel like more confident and so I just feel it's kind of cool because it transcends into like your personal life your social life I feel like handling snakes it honestly it boosts like my confidence that much more so <clears throat> let's see like I said today we're gonna do two things uh, first I'm gonna pick up one of my bows and just show you guys how I personally pick them up uh, some people use snake hooks. I used to use snake hooks, but because I have babies, I re did some research on that, and then, I don't know, it came up, it, I found something somewhere, it came up, it was saying just be careful using hooks with babies because, you know, they're really sensitive and their ribs are pretty fragile, so it, you can easily break their ribs. So that's just something I heard, and so I was just like, okay, I don't wanna do that. That doesn't work for me. So, uh, you know, I stopped using the hook with them. I only use the hook sometimes for, for my ball python, but even now, like, I, I feel like I'm not using the hook nearly as much as I used to use them. Um, sometimes I'll use it, like, if I have to reach in to, you know, move something around and I don't want to get bit, you know, because I'm putting my hand inside the enclosure, I may, like, kind of, uh, how would you say, kind of wedge or, you know, uh, kind of gently tap their nose and just kind of, like, prevent them from, like, biting me and I can do whatever I gotta do. Uh, so a couple people, or there's one method this one guy does, it's called with a flat hand. I personally don't like that method. I feel like, me personally, I feel like you're scaring, you, I feel like you end up scaring them and you make them a little bit more defensive. So once you pull them out, I feel like because you did it in such of a way, they're on guard. And so I personally don't like to do that. I was doing that before with my ball python and I realized that it, all it did was just make him more defensive once I got him out of the enclosure. So uh, long story short, what I typ like, typically do is I just grab them from behind. It's that simple. Uh, the midsection of their body, I just grab them from there and I just pick them up. So let's get down to it, give you guys the example and let's do it. So you, you can't really see her head, but she's kind of buried. She's right there. Um, so as you guys can see, I'm not going to do the, the flat hand thing. Instead, what I'll do is I'll just kind of take her out. And just confidently grab her, just like so. And they're usually pretty chill. As you guys see, it was pretty easy getting Kiki out of her enclosure. I mean, it's pretty simple. Uh, like I said, like confidence, like wins the game. Like if I went in there, put my hand, and I was acting all like scared, uh, you know, I probably could have got tagged. You know, um, I've never been tagged by her. Hopefully that never happens. It's not going wood. Uh, but yeah, I mean, she's a really good snake. So you know, I handle her pretty much every day, and you know, it's one of those things like uh, it boosts both of our confidence. I would say because when I first got my first got her, I was like hella nervous. You know. And honestly, like, I really didn't have a reason to be nervous because she's just so cool and chill. But anyway, so that's Kiki there. But yeah, I just wanted to share with you guys or to show you guys, like, how I personally pick up my snakes. Um, like I said, it's pretty easy, pretty simple. Um, you know, they're really cool, really awesome. Um, so this is my albino. Yeah, she's just really orange, which is pretty cool. Um, I haven't seen a lot of albinos like her, you know? Most albinos I see are like really white. Um, they're like super white or something like that, but they only get that vibe. Or you only see that with her, you know? Uh, she's not doled out or anything like that. I feel like a lot of times you see them, you know, kind of that dull color. But yeah, she's not, she's super orange. So we'll see how her color lasts, you know, and kind of go from there. But yeah, so now I'm feeding her rat pups. Um, you know, she's doing really good, really excited. 
Anyways, enough about Kiki. Um, so I told you guys before, we're gonna do a feeding. But anyways, uh, so yeah, let's get to the feeding. You're back already. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed the feeding. Uh, yeah, so Bubba killed it. Like he's been doing consistently, which is really cool. He's starting to eat like a boa now. I think he's getting jealous. Uh, anyway, so that's pretty much it today, guys. Um, I would say today, you know, if you watch my channel, if you see what we do all the time, we always do positive challenge of the day. And so today, it's a simple one. Um, the simple one is just to honestly it's just a note or a message to you i just want you guys all know that uh you're all awesome you know everybody i feel you know provides something and brings something to the table in this world and you know i just want to let you guys all know it doesn't matter what you your background is doesn't matter any of that you know i don't really care i mean i care but like not in the sense of judging you you know i think you're all awesome people and uh i appreciate you guys watching my channel you know honestly from the bottom of my heart um so yeah uh, if you haven't already go ahead please hit that subscription button you know and get more content cool content show with us see you watch her growth i mean she's already growing so crazy uh like my first daughter she was so tiny she's like a little worm <laughs> i was like you sure this is a boa constrictor to like yep she's gonna get a she's gonna be a beast but yeah so you know she could get pretty big i don't know how big she's gonna get her final stage but they said like her dad was like eight feet or something like that her mom was seven or six or something like that so you know she's gonna be a pretty big girl so i'm excited for that uh anyway so that's kiki here albino like i said she's about four months old right now so yeah that's her but anyways just want to show you guys how i pick up my snakes and and also show you guys cool little feeding or whatever but yeah so hope you guys enjoyed it thanks for watching uh, once again please subscribe please like please comment i'm always down for a good discussion so uh yeah that's it guys have a great day have a great night wherever you're at uh adios peace black hippie out <laughs>